you have watched all the videos, you've cracked the codes, you've been incredibly clever, and you have won The Last Supper. But I do have one more question for you. Would you rather have the original painting or... This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey, I'm Ten Hundred. I'm an artist from Southwest Michigan. You know, for the past year, I've been working on recreating Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper in my style. If you've been hanging around my channel for a while, you know that it's an eight part series. I've been painting this thing like for freaking ever. It's also an elaborate treasure hunt, an ARG. There's online detectives trying to figure out all these hidden codes. And to that final detective who does solve it all, they win the painting, my version of The Last Supper. Now the painting's done, but there's a few hanging loose threads we gotta take care of. I need to varnish the piece. I gotta figure out the gicle prints that I wanna make. I gotta figure out the jigsaw puzzle that I wanna make of this. We definitely have to figure out who actually won this thing. We gotta get the art piece professionally scanned. And I gotta shave, cause look at this beard. In the first video I said, I am not shaving till the Last Supper painting is done. But the painting's done, so it's time to shave. So, we got a lot of work to do come along with me we're gonna go on this journey let's get going come on step one an isolation layer for the painting look at this look what I found golden isolation coat this product is specifically intended to be an isolation coat between my painting and the varnish I have never seen this before, but I think this is what my little artist heart has been desiring for years and I never even knew it was a real thing. Okay, I have three video calls with the three finalists who are competing to win The Last Supper. So here's the ground rules. They're all gonna get asked the same questions. They have 30 seconds to answer each question. I know some of them worked as a group this whole time and they can still participate as a group if they want to. Whoever gets the most questions right wins the painting. Now some of these questions might be a little confusing to you guys because I know a lot of you didn't try to crack all these codes, but I am gonna be releasing an explain all video where we go through this whole ARG and like tell you guys what the heck was going on, but it'll still probably be fun to watch these contestants squirm. So let's jump into this thing. Hello. Hello, Peter. Hi. Hello. There they are. Hi. Welcome to Pentamerous Bells. <laughs> the game show of sorts where you can win The Last Supper. Are you ready? I think so. I'll try my best, but <laughs> let's see. First question. Which character uses a journal to communicate and why? Honest. The eel. And why? Because he's oh, mute. He's mute. The heel? Because he's mute. The eel uses a journal to communicate because he's mute. That is correct. <laughs> Good job. Which characters are related? Like family, blood related? That's Easton Riley Thompson and Esther Harley Thompson. They're twins. And. Um, in the note. Yeah. Okay, so that is the antelope and the artwork, which are twins. And I guess if you say related, family related, it would also be the rabbit and the newt as they are uncle nephew relationship. Okay, family blood related, we have the antelope and the aardvark. They are twins. Final answer? Uh, blood related? Yes. That is half correct. The okay. newt and the rabbit oh, are shit. also uncle and nephew. <laughs> Here's one for you. What periodic elements were used to discover the eel's character card? Sulfur. I believe chromium. Iodine and beryllium. That is correct. Good job. <laughs> Next on my to-do list is getting the painting professionally scanned. I called ahead to Print Lab in Chicago. So I gotta wrap this thing up and load it in my truck. The painting is too long for the truck. Perhaps I'll use my other car. Back of the car, there she be. Let the adventure begin. I was excited to find a professional art scanner just two hours from my house in Michigan. We have made it to Chicago. Let's get this art scanned. Hey, what's up? This is Xander with Print Lab Chicago, and we're about to scan 1000's giant piece over there. So I built this whole thing. That's sick. Basically, we put a super high res camera up there, take it in sections, and it, because of the way that we align it with lasers and stuff, it stitches perfectly.
Okay, I'd like to make jigsaw puzzles of my version of The Last Supper. So I have spent the past week emailing 12, count them, 12 different puzzle factories, but I haven't narrowed down to two. And I asked them to send me samples of pre-existing puzzles that they've already made for other customers. So we're waiting for those samples to get here so I can make my final decision on the puzzle factory that I want to work with. We'll see you soon on that one. Okay, we got samples from the puzzle factory. June, you want to open these with me? Yeah. This is from one of the companies. This has Last Supper on it. It's like somebody else's version of the Last Supper. So that's like the regular puzzle box. And then this one is the magnet one. It's pretty cool. When I'm seeing these in person, I'm like, I don't know if I love the magnet quite as much. Ooh. So this is the other company. Looks pretty good. It's kind of hard to tell like with these pictures if somebody just didn't do a very good picture or if it's lower print quality. It would almost be cool to do like a cloth bag like this in a traditional box. If you grab the box upside down, it doesn't really hold it at all. So that might be like more trouble than it's worth. This company seems like it's more premium. This company is more expensive. I don't know, I'm gonna take a closer look at these things and see what I think. Things are happening. There's a lot of spinning plates. There's a lot of moving parts, but it's so exciting. Now it's the very uh, <laughs> fun slash daunting part of designing the packaging for the puzzle. Packaging is such a tricky beast. You start with this like blank canvas and you're trying to achieve a few goals, trying to make it look freaking awesome and make an appropriate package for the product that you're producing. Wow, that was a lot of peas. <laughs> uh, so let me just pop open Photoshop here and get to work. I've always wanted to make a jigsaw puzzle, and I really want this puzzle to be a little extra special. I figured the best place to start was the box. That's the first thing you're gonna see anyway when you hold it in your hands for the first time. Even though this will probably only be for sale on my website and will never make it onto store shelves, I wanted a lot of the key features printed on the box as though I was trying to convince a customer at Barnes & Noble to buy this puzzle or something like that. The puzzle's gonna be a thousand pieces. It's gonna have a satin soft touch finish. It's gonna be random cut shape pieces as opposed to just the six same pieces printed over and over again. So that's really cool. There's even gonna be some custom 10 hundred character shaped pieces in this puzzle, which will make it really unique. And the puzzle is going to be double sided with the art on one side and the concept sketch on the other for hard mode. Okay, I've been designing all day long and I think I have the box done. Now, I got to do the character cards, the poster insert, the codes for the puzzle, the answers for the puzzle, the secret little envelope, the custom bag. I got a lot more stuff to do, so I'm going to get back to designing. Because the painting I made, along with the whole video series, was full of secret messages and hidden codes. I wanted to do kind of a pared down version of that game included here in the puzzle. It's like the light version of the full ARG that we created here on this YouTube channel. There's gonna be a checklist of secret symbolism that you can find in the artwork. As you're putting together the puzzle, you can look for some of these hidden messages. We're gonna give you more hints in the puzzle version <laughs> than we did in the video series. So it'll be a bit easier than it was for those poor detectives who've tried to figure this whole thing out. I hesitate to call it a full-on mystery puzzle because so much of what we created for this game is in these YouTube videos, but we did put a ton of work into creating all this extra content and storyline. And I wanted to include a bit of that in this puzzle. There was an argument over gifts. One of the gifts was the grail. What was the other gift mentioned? I remember a report talking about a fish. A fish. There's two fish mm -hmm. as gifts. One was given, one wasn't. I mean, there were several gifts mentioned, but the one, there were, there was a conflict between two vessels, I believe. So I would say that was the X bottle again. Okay, I, we're gonna have the judges review that one for later, because that's not exactly what we had. <sighs> the tensions are rising. Do you guys feel it? You feel the tension? <laughs> Who is the author of the eleventh hour? Graham Base. Perfect. Wow, you have the book right there. Uh, Graham Base. I believe. I'm sorry if I pronounce wrong, Graham Bell. 
Can you say it one more time? Graham Bell. Just a little bit off on that one. <laughs> what other YouTubers helped hide codes in their videos? So, Slu with the, his collaboration uh, with Doke and uh, Jazza. So, Jazza was one. Uh, Slu, Doke, they did a collab. I think that's it. So that was Jazza, and then I believe that was Slu. That is correct. Okay, you're doing awesome. All right, gang, very exciting news. We got some samples. Print samples from Bellevue Fine Art Reproduction. Super amazing gicle printers over there on the West Coast in Seattle. Ooh, I love that first moment when you see a freaking sample of something you've worked super hard on. We gotta set this down for a second. One moment, please. Yeah, let's just move the camera. Let's just move the camera. Oh my gosh. That's the biggest gicle print I've ever seen in my life. Should we hold it up for them? Oh, it looks so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Rotation, rotation, sweep in the nation. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> this is you. Can we just like slowly go towards the camera? Can you see the rich, beautiful print quality on this thing? Oh my God, that looks good. That's amazing. Now these things are not cheap to make. The cost for me to produce them is a three digit number. I can see why, just, I mean, just the freaking size of this thing, the crazy inks that they use when they make G-Clay prints. There's the original and there's the G-Clay. And then in addition to those absolute giant ones. Oh yeah. Let's go. We have the 36 inch version, the medium size, I guess. And then that's the 24 inch version. This is the smallest size. So 24 inch, 36 inch, and then the big giant actual size. Gosh, these are looking so good. Mmm, juicy. In this video, I'm releasing puzzles and prints. And how do you think I'm gonna make those available for pre-order to the world? That's right, on Squarespace. Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. It's where I host my online shop. It's where I host my artist portfolio, and it's super easy. If you're an artist like me, or you have a big dream that you wanna share with the world, you can make an awesome website on Squarespace. They have these beautiful award-winning templates. All you gotta do is take your awesome content, your awesome ideas, drop it into these sick templates, and boom, you got a website. I personally have been using Squarespace for years and years, and if I can build a website, you can absolutely build a website. But if you ever do run into any issues, they have 24-7 and customer support, they can definitely help you out. Squarespace literally has like every feature you need to build a website. Every time I think of something that I want my website to do, Squarespace already has that feature built in and it's super easy to do. So head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 1000 for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. All right, let's get back to it. Where was the cryptex buried? You gave via Cardinal Video Twitter's account uh, a series of tweets with coordinates leading to the the cryptex to to go to to the I think beneath Branch in Michigan. It was buried in Branch, Michigan. Not not this one, but one like it. <laughs> you have like literally all the props from the whole game on hand. Not obsessive at all. <laughs> I believe it was in a township called Branch or Branch Township, if that was what you were looking for. I was looking for the town name, which is Branch, Michigan, so that's correct. What was the code to open the cryptics? Knock. Knock, knock. Just one. Okay, I'll take the one. I'm not sure, I would have to guess, maybe knock. I don't think it was. <laughs> you that. guessed correctly. That's correct, <laughs> <laughs> nice job. He shoots, he scores, that was sick. Last question. What information can be inferred by the names and weights of the characters alone? 30 seconds. Do you have an answer? No, I don't. 10 seconds left. This one's a hard one. Maybe they're innocent? I'm not sure. Okay. Not the answer we were looking for. Uh, the names in reverse order, Bell, 
Grail leads to Treacherous Plan, and the weights, if you add up all the digits, spell Newt and Rabbit. What's the names in reverse say? Uh, a des- sorry, a desire. A desire of the Grail. A desire Newt of the Grail. Leads to Treacherous leads Plan. Leads to Treacherous Plan. Okay, correct. We got a sample! Puzzle sample, baby, let's go! Look at that thing! This is a digital sample. They didn't set up their full-on crazy puzzle-making machines. This is like digitally printed, and a lot of it is actually hand-assembled. Wow. Front, sides, woo! The back, little envelope. This is the art to help you assemble the puzzle. And then the back is a bunch of hints towards all the hidden symbolism. Got like a drawstring bag with my logo on it. Secret sneaky little message that I wrote to you guys. There's the little kitty saying have fun. This envelope is on thin paper. It needs to be on thicker cardstock for sure. We'll get that going. Inside of here is a bunch of these like character dossier documents so that you can open this when you're done trying to crack the code and learn about the full story. These are the answers for all of this stuff. This is so cool. I already have like a ton of notes just after seeing this for five seconds to send to my manufacturer. And then the puzzle pieces. This is satin touch. Super soft. Like I don't know how to communicate that in a video but that is a premium touch right there. Random cut shaped pieces. Like all these pieces are all different shapes and it is not just the same shapes over and over again. And then on one side is like the full painting version and then on the other side is how Hard mode, it's just the concept art. Pieces feel so good. This is the best feeling puzzle I've ever touched. I have a freaking jigsaw puzzle. This is so sick. I love samples. Samples, woo! So I have the print samples. I have the jigsaw puzzle samples. I have freaking The Last Supper completed. Pre-orders are live now on my website. And this is freaking awesome. And now for the winner of The Last Supper painting. All right, I brought you here to let you know you have watched all the videos, you've cracked the codes, you've solved the clues, you've been incredibly clever, and you have gotten the most points, and you have won The Last Supper. Congratulations. Oh my God. <laughs> That's awesome. How you feeling right now? Uh, relieved. <laughs> That's insane. But I do have one more question for you, one more okay. wrench to throw into the situation. And here's my question. Would you rather have the original painting or would you rather have 5,000 US dollars and one copy of the actual size print for each of you? (laughs) As you can see, it's it's quite large. Somehow it looks bigger than the original. So that's the question. Uh what a decision. It's a big decision. It is. I mean, it is difficult to split a six foot paint. It is. You have to saw it in half. Yeah. <laughs> you guys didn't know I was going to put you in this situation, did you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are we going to split it between the two? Exactly. What yeah. would we do? Cash and prints or the original art? <laughs> That's the question. Oh, he wants an answer right now then. <laughs> yeah, I would. I mean, we're making a YouTube video here. <laughs> we both said, didn't we, that we kind of felt bad taking it because you spent yeah, you so want long it so much. on it. Yeah. I think we probably probably both think that you deserve to keep it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it is easy to split cash, of course. And the, the prints are going to be amazing. I'm about to go on holiday to Japan in like Ooh. a month. So that money works for me. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. So you guys are officially taking the $5,000 and the two actual size prints? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you guys have done like such an incredible job. You won the grand prize by a margin of three answers. Wow. The next, the other two people tied for second place and they're each going to get a 24 inch version of the print because they're freaking awesome and smart. But you guys are the big winners. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you for making the, the game yeah. and, and all the art that you make as well. What a year of my life. <laughs> I'm going to feel bored not having codes to crack all the time. Oh my God, they took the money. They took the money. <laughs> Which means that this painting is mine and it's so heavy. <laughs> I am so pumped to be able to keep this thing that I spent over a year working on. Let's set this down. Huge shout out to those amazing detectives. I can't believe they figured out all these freaking codes, man. It's the first time I've ever bought my art and all it cost me was 5,000 bucks. This is like fake movie prop cash, by the way. Did you know you can get $10,000 on Amazon for $8.99? <laughs> the giant size actual 
single size prints, the 36 inch prints, the 24 inch prints, the jigsaw puzzle are all available on my website right now for pre-order. The Giclees are on the prints page. This guy's on the merch page. Links in the description, links in the pinned comment. That's it. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. And uh, wait a second. I think there's something I've forgotten to do. Hmm. Oh yeah. Stash. Tune in next time to see if I keep the point stash. Oh my god. My beard's gone. <laughs>